Initially I was drawn to the Alps by the prospect of working with some spectacular frog species. But over the years, just spending a lot of time in this landscape, I feel like I've developed an appreciation just for the landscape and a real connection to it. And every year, just can't wait to get back out there and walk across the high country. A lot of my work involves surveys and monitoring of the Burlong frog. And that involves walking many, many kilometres of rivers. Rivers are really exciting places. There's constant change interesting rock formations, you know, interesting flow. You go from waterfalls to still ponds. It's really an area of a lot of life and biodiversity in the landscapes. I'm not quite sure that I can pinpoint what it is about frogs that I'm so fascinated with, partly because my earliest memories were being fascinated with frogs. One of the frog species that I do a lot of research and management with is the Burlong frog. It's largely found in the agricultural landscape and we can look at ways of marrying the, the conservation of this endangered frog with land management practices in the agricultural zone. So that involves working with a lot of farmers and thinking about how their business can go hand in hand with biodiversity conservation. The Burlong frog, it's a rather small, just plain brownie coloured frog, but I've been really inspired at, at how much property owners have taken interest in this, thinking about what they can do to assist the conservation of it. It actually fills me with a lot of hope. It makes me think that, you know, by and large, we are very interested in the natural environment. We don't want to destroy it. There should be ways in which we can marry the human needs with the protection of our environment. And so the Burlong Frog Project is something that really does fill me with hope and enthusiasm for the future.